Hey babes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're in a little bit of a different location today. We are not in my beauty room for once. I thought I'd switch it up a bit. We are actually downstairs in my house. So welcome to my living room. But today we're gonna be doing Smash or Pass on TikTok beauty products, specifically makeup, although there is a few skincare bits in there as well. It's gonna be fairly quick fire. I'm not gonna dwell too much on each product. I'm just gonna quickly whiz through them. So hopefully this video isn't too long. I thought this would be good to do and kind of helpful for some people because I spend so much money on TikTok shops the amount I spend on there is a little bit of a joke so if you want to fuel my TikTok shop spending even more then let me know in the comments what you've tried from TikTok shop and if you know of any more viral products maybe then I can test them out but I do have a big basket here full of them you can have a little sneak peek of what's to come before we get into the video if you could make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have a goal of hitting 1k and we're not too far off so if you can help me get there I'd be really appreciative also quick PSA my glasses have arrived from my last video if you didn't watch it I did a January refresh you can go and watch it and basically my glasses didn't arrive but they are now here so I thought I would update you they are fully giving Edna mode what do we think let me know I get new glasses every single year so I want something a bit more like bold and iconic this year so this is what we were going for what do we think let me know anyway now let's do the first product we're starting off with a good one this I feel like has recently gone viral kind of like the later half of 2023 and for good reason it's so good it just blurs your under eyes I used it today I always use it I'm running out I would 100% rebuy it I use the shade pound cake one of the main things I like about this is that it has a really nice stopper that you can kind of put over the top I really don't like putting my powder in the lids and then having to kind of like re-put it on. I just don't enjoy that experience. So 100% smash. Next one, I'm sure you all know him, is from Made by Mitchell. So this is actually the color case. You can get loads of different products from him. I'm personally not a fan of the blushes, um, but I have actually just ordered a bronzer to try. So I'm excited to try that, but I'll let you know what I think. But this actual product, the color case is really good. I know it looks really bold, but you can actually get different colored ones. Ones. I think this is really good because you can use it all over the face and I really enjoy it. This is a smash for sure. The next one, P. Louise. Now, I love P. Louise products and I have been really liking a lot of their makeup stuff, especially because I had the P. Louise advent calendar. If you didn't follow me on TikTok, I unboxed it every single day and I discovered some amazing products from that advent calendar, but the skincare... Oh, it's just a no from me. For example, this moisturizer is nice, but it has gold glitter in, and I just don't want that in a moisturizer. I don't know if that's personal preference, but it's just not for me. Feels a bit silicone-y. And the eye cream, again, really nice, kind of innovative packaging, has like a vibrating tip, if you will. So the top of it vibrates, and you can put it on your eye, and it's meant to be like depuffing. But the actual product, it just peels every single time, no matter how much I use, just peels off, which makes a bad base for your under eye. So P. Louise skincare so far, it's a pass. However, sticking with the P. Louise theme, the Bad Bitch juice boxes are unreal. I literally love them. The packaging, what you get in the product, the price point, I literally love this. If you've never heard of them, which if you're on TikTok, why? Basically, you get like a lip oil and then you get a little lip balm which you can pop on your keys. So I actually have mine on my keys and it's so handy because wherever I go, I will just always have that. So I always have conditioned juicy lips. This one is a smash, P. Louise. Also with that one, you get so many different flavors. I'm talking like so many flavors you can scroll for ages and find the one you love i've actually lost i realized my lip conditioner though so i might actually need to order a new one which is exciting because that one's a winter flavor so maybe i can get something more tropical or summery now the next one is controversial and i feel like a lot of people thought people were lying when they said they liked this the l'oreal setting spray i really like this I genuinely think when I apply this, my makeup sticks like nothing else. People were saying like influencers and you know, people like that were lying about it because it's like L'Oreal. Um, they were like, it just smells like hairspray and it's not that good. Personally, I was absolutely chuffed when I found out it smelled like hairspray because that stops me applying hairspray on my face. I mean, I stopped doing that when I was about 16, but the point is, 
it is locking in your makeup like a hairspray, but it's appropriate for your face. So I was, I personally took that as like a good thing and I was like, oh my God, yes, it's gonna be like a hairspray, but I'm not putting hairspray on my face. So people didn't like that, but I personally thought that was a good thing. And I also really see a difference in the longevity of my makeup, especially around my nose, like my T-zone area. With regard to the no transfer, it's not no transfer. I don't think anything will ever be no transfer. So I feel like they should have put something like minimal transfer or like something like that. I think maybe people were expecting a lot and it does promise a lot, but I still like it. Does that make sense? So this one is a smash for me, but for a lot of people, I know it's a pass. If you've tried it, what do you think? Okay, number six, we are halfway. This brand, it just makes my heart warm. Jordana t-shirt is like the most wholesome, amazing brand. I think their products are amazing. The owner is just so lovely. The employees do amazing jobs. Like, I just think it's a slay. So I have the bronzer and you get a cream on the bottom. By the way, you get so much product. And then on the top, you get a powder and a mirror. So it's just a major slay. This is the full size and then you can get like mini ones as well. So this is the blusher. Again, you get a cream, a powder and a mirror in every single one. The actual products as well are really good. So the bronzer is really blendable. It's not too pigmented when you go in. The blushes have enough pigment, but not too much where you're like, whoa, I can't fix this and it ruins your makeup. Just a solid smash for me. As soon as I show this next one, I think you know what I'm gonna say. Obviously smash. Like obviously, this is gonna be super quick because like we all know this is insane. It cleans your makeup brushes in 60 seconds and then they're ready to use again. Also so I love that they've kind of like diversified and gone into different scents. So you can get like this one, which is inspired by Alien. You can get like little gift sets. This one was released at Christmas and it's inspired by like Oud scent, Smash Iso Clean. Also, I do actually have a code with them. I'll pop the link in the description, but you can save money with them if you do shop on the website. The next one, I need like an in-between option for, like it's not a smash and it's not a pass. And I do like them. I'm just gonna tell you what they are. So it's the NYX lip oils or the fat oils. Right, I love the product. I love how they apply, like they are super nice, just super handy, the size of them. They come in a range of different shades. So they're the things I like. However, oh God, that made me jump to someone at the door. I wonder what that is. Must be the postman. Anyway, the reason I am not so keen on these is First and foremost, I don't like the applicator. The doe foot applicator is too thick and it pulls off too much of the product. The little thing inside where it like scrapes it off, every product has it, that has a doe foot applicator. I need it to scrape off less because I want to apply a bit more. And it just feels like lumbersome every time I take it out. It's like, oh God. And then because it's like a gloss, the product kind of strings out and I'm like always scared it's gonna go over me. Do you know what I mean? I know that's really fussy, but it's just the application and like, oh, that of the product I don't enjoy. I just wish this hole was like a bit bigger. <laughs> so that's my issue with these. And the other issue is that I do feel like they're copied made by Mitchell. Like this green is made by Mitchell, let's be real, we all know it. I feel like they were cheeky to get away with that one. I'm surprised no one has really called that out. But other than that, I do really like them. So that's like a meh from me and in between. Next one, hard pass, hard pass. And I really wanted to like this. It is the Beauty Crop SPF. Um, it's like a primer as well, so you can put it under your makeup. Really like the packaging of it, like the little nozzle thing. It's just so drying. I don't know what's in this that makes it dry. It says it's fragrance free on the front, so it's not full of fragrance. But every time I apply this, it applies nicely under makeup, but it just sucks the life out of my skin and I can't seem to get on with it. You only need the tiniest bit as well before you apply too much. And I don't like that with an SPF. I want to apply liberal amounts with my SPF and it not affect my makeup, etc. because I should be able to apply a lot without it going cakey because that's the point of an SPF. I want to apply a lot to be protected. So if I only apply like a little bit, I feel like I'm not fully protected. Does that make sense? So, ugh, so sad, but beauty crop, you didn't slay this one, it's a pass. On the other hand, you did slay these, my friends. The beauty crop Wee Cherie primer and setting spray. <sighs> Such a smash. 
If you haven't got these, you need to get them ASAP. No matter what products you are using, they will change your makeup game, I promise you. The primer is gripping, also leaves you with like a nice smooth base. I don't feel like a lot of people talk about that, but with this primer, it does actually kind of like smooth in a way, not in a silicone way, so it doesn't have silicones in and it doesn't leave that kind of like silipery silicone feel. But I always find that my makeup just applies loads better when I use this. And it's also really gripping, so it'll make your makeup last longer. Hard smash. And the Weeshery setting spray, I just love it. You mix it up, so you shake it and then, ah. Uh, it's just so good. Nice mist. It does smell of cherries. I don't actually like cherries or the smell of cherries. So if that's a thing for you, then just bear that in mind. I could get over it like it's only a little kind of scent, a little whiff of it. But yeah, these are a hard smash. Love. Now, these ones haven't quite gone viral yet, I wouldn't say, because they are literally brand new. They've been out less than a week. So they are the Be Perfect Eyebrow Gels. Is that what they're called? Oh no, they're the Indestructive Brow. So it's basically an eyebrow gel with microfibers in. Um, a lot of people saying these are basically the same as the Benefit Cosmetics. I would disagree. I think this is better. I have tried the Benefit Cosmetics brow thing. I didn't find that one held them in place and it just kind of tinted my brows, which was nice, but it didn't deliver what it promised. These went above and beyond. I actually tested them on my TikTok and I did a really sweaty hit workout at the gym because it says they're sweat proof and it fully delivered. I actually have it on my brows now and they're just like glue, like they have stuck them down without being shiny. Obviously the microfibers make them look thicker, but the staying power for this was what sold me and I really, really like them, would highly recommend. And I think they're so affordable. They're like eight or nine pound, which is what I think a brow product should be. The Benefit one, isn't the Benefit one like over 20 pounds? Like who's spending that? Come on, this is just so much more affordable and better. Hard smash, be perfect. Okay, I've got three more to go. I've actually got a couple more than I originally thought. But next one is the Rare Beauty Blush. I'm not gonna spend long on this one because we all know the crack. It's amazing, it has the pigment, the application, the actual packaging. It's really good for people with disabilities and who struggle to pick things up. I really like the shades, blends out amazingly. You just look put together and it's such a sleigh. And it's not exclusive to TikTok, but I feel like it's blown up because of TikTok. So Rare Beauty, big smash. Um, so this one, Little bit of an awkward one, I suppose, because it's just the whole brand, basically. HNB, they're smashing it. Ha, excuse the pun. But, like, the glow tints are the glow tints. If you haven't tried the glow tints, please do yourself a favour and get it. Wear it in 2024. Your friends and family are not going to recognise you. They're going to be like, oh, you look glowing. And you're going to be like, it's the glow tint. It is so good. It's so affordable as well. But even if this was like double the price, I would still buy it. I have like a paler shade and then I have a more tan shade. The concealers are amazing. They are hydrating, they are blendable. Again, really, really affordable. Their shade range is also good. Don't get me wrong, could be better, but considering the price range, it is amazing. If you look at other brands with the same price range and then look at their shade range, ouch and they also have their luminous foundation honestly these are like all i use like the glow tint and the foundation is pretty much all i use i don't really know what to say about this because there's nothing bad to say i would just say hmb skin products smash buy anything and you will like it i guarantee <laughs> and for the final product not necessarily a tiktok exclusive product however this charlotte tilbury flawless filter i feel like it's gone big partially because of TikTok. This is actually really new to me because I have only just tried it. Oh God, shocking. I slept on this so hard. This is kind of like a sheer version of the HMB Glow Tint. So the Glow Tint you can wear more as like a foundation. This I would say is a more like a tinted moisturizer in a way, like the coverage wise. But it is really glowy, super gorgeous. It makes your foundation just look really really nice but coverage wise i would say it goes the charlotte tilbury then the hmb glow tint and then full coverage foundations like again 
HMB foundation kind of essay lauder etc getting thicker like that so this is like very very mineral coverage I would 100% say this is worth the money it just makes you look amazing if you get a darker shade you can also use it to kind of bronze up your face which is what I do so this one is also a smash ending on a good one there so I hope that helped some of you if you are thinking about buying on TikTok or if you wanted some product recommendations. If you've heard of any viral products on TikTok, then let me know. I would love to try out some more for you. And like I said at the start of the video, please make sure to subscribe. I really wanna hit my goal this year, so I'd be super grateful. I upload every single Wednesday at about five o'clock, so I will see you next week for another video. Bye, babes.